what's going on everyone so charge point chpt had earnings today um and the stock is up right so let's talk a little bit about the technical analysis is this going to be a good ev uh charging um stock to kind of plug your money away we obviously know the democrats as well as joe biden uh, are really really pushing this green energy deal here uh we have oil at, i think today was 111 112 dollars a barrel i don't know where you live at let me know down in the description box below but what is the average price per gallon of gas where you live at um, I am in Southern California and today was $4.99 for the cheapest gas. So $4.99 was the cheapest that you can get a dollar of gas. And that I believe was 87. I didn't even look to see what 89 and 91 uh, was. I was just kind of driving by and noticed that, you know, $4.99 on the gas. So, you know, who's to really blame here for, uh, you know, the higher oil prices? Well, you know, we obviously have a lot of geopolitical news going on. But if you guys are interested in these EV type plays, these charging stations, these electric vehicle companies, so forth and so forth, solar energy, this, that, and the other, then this video is going to suit you well. So ChargePoint, uh, someone actually on my Discord asked me about ChargePoint today, and I was a little, you know, a little on the fence. I knew that they had earnings, so, you know, it's kind of hard. Anytime you're going into earnings, you really don't know what to expect. For example, take a look at what Snowflake did after earnings, ticker symbol Snow, stock got absolutely destroyed. So it's kind of a toss up depending on the guidance, depending on the earnings, depending on a lot of other factors. But I think that a lot of money is going to start to kind of gravitate towards some of these EV plays as that's kind of where our, you know, political agenda and, and where the Democrats want to take things. Um, is ChargePoint going to be a company of the future that's going to be a great company to invest in? We don't know yet, right? I mean, is Tesla going to be the number one EV maker in 10, 20 years from now? We don't know that yet, right? So anything can change three, five, 10 years down the road, but definitely let's take a look at the chart and let's see what we're looking at here. One thing that I did want to notice and, and or point out, and this is kind of what I pointed out to the member in our, in our Discord today, is that we do have these lows, a little bit of a double, triple bottom, I guess you can say, right around this 1125 area, right? Obviously not to the penny, but let's just call it 1125. You can see down here, we touched it one, two, three, four times. So we got a little bit of a, uh, a triple bottom here. Um, and then, you know, nasty sell off. So again, like a lot of stocks, like a lot of small caps, like a lot of mega cap stocks, most of these stocks are significantly off their highs from around November's uh, price target. So November's price target, you know, we were trading up around $28.81. Obviously, you know, we've taken a little bit of a haircut, you know, a lot of a haircut here on charge point, but we've kind of found a little bit of a base consolidated here for going on about almost a month now, um, creating this base between $11 and let's call it $15 and 54 cents. So one of the things that, that I had kind of pointed out was, you know, I do like that we closed over the 20 period moving average here, but we are stuck in the middle of the range, right? We're stuck in the middle of the range. There's a lot of stocks, you know, that look good. Is this going to be one that we're going to want to invest in? I don't know. What about plug? What about F cell? Uh, you know, what about uh, Volta, right? There's, there's a lot of companies out there that we, you know, could potentially invest in. But one thing that I did want to see is I did want to see a break in trend, right? So still on the big picture, what we have here is we have a high, right? We have a high, we have a lower high, we have a lower high, and we have a lower high. So what I want to see is I want to see a break of $15.50, okay? And the reason why I want to see that is because I want to see the break in trend, and I want to see a break and put in a higher high. I don't want any more lower highs. So with that being said, if we kind of just zoom over to the one hour time frame so we can see these earnings here and just keep in mind this white trend line that I have here, $15.54 is obviously a break in trend, right? So if we kind of look at where we came in the after hour session, $15.75. So not only did we break that $15.50 mark, we broke that, but we also found a little bit of supply. There's rejection there, right? There's a lot of price action and consolidation here. You can see the last time we came into this, uh, two Wednesdays ago, we came into this area and we sold all the way off to the bottom of the range. Now, I'm not saying that we're gonna sell off to the bottom of the range this time because now we have a catalyst in front of it. It's the earnings, it's this, that, and the other guidance, so forth and so forth, right? So what I want to keep in mind here is going into tomorrow's session, or at least this week, we're going to at least need to close on a daily candle over $15.75. 
if we can close over $15.75 and start a new base, meaning we need to build, right? Anytime I'm gonna say it needs to build is price action needs to clear out $15.75. And now we need to start consolidating. Now we need to see a little bit of a pullback. Now we need to see a little bit of price action uh, from the buyers, the bulls stepping in. And we need to start building a base and creating a new floor over $15.75. If we can start to build a base and create this new floor over $15.75, then potentially we're onto something here uh, for the long term, maybe a, maybe a swing trade. Maybe you can start to add this to your long term portfolio. Now, obviously, given if you're in at a price of 11 to $13 and you've made out fantastic on this already, I would just continue to hold. But I'm talking to people who are currently not in this position and maybe you're looking to start a position in this particular stock. I would want to see... Uh, us confirm those earnings highs and I would want to get a couple of days worth of price action over those earnings highs and then kind of make that next push higher for that next leg up because all the chart is telling you right now is that yes we came into a level of supply we quickly overshot that level of supply and then we got rejected so under 1575 we overshot the level of supply and we got rejected and currently we're kind of working our way back up the after hour session but let's say we do start some consolidation. Maybe we create a little bit of a, a, a flag pattern here. Well, that next run up and that breakthrough of 1575 is where you're gonna wanna take part in this trade, but not until we get over that level because the last thing you're gonna wanna do is start accumulating uh, shares down here between 14 and 15 and a half level. And then next thing you know, see this stock start to consolidate and roll all the way back over and touch 13. Again, I hope this video helps guys. If you want to trade alongside me each and every single day live, join my discord. That link is down in the description box below. Also, do not forget to hit the subscribe button as well as give me a thumbs up on this video. Let me know what you guys think about charge point. What, what EV plays, what green energy plays are you guys involved in? Which ones do you want to know about? Um, you know, which ones are you interested in investing in? And I'll try to do my best to help you guys out with some technical analysis on those levels. But until next time, guys, I'm going to see you guys all in the next one.